So in our get band method, we grab the band from the repository and then return it. But we never check if the band ID that is being passed into this action actually is valid. If it belongs to an existing band. And we can check that in two different ways. So what we can do here is use the band exists method that we have in our repository. So we could do something like this. If and check if the band album repository dot band exists. So if it doesn't exist and we pass in the band ID to it. So if the band with this ID doesn't exist, then we would return not found. And this would work just fine. However, it's really not needed here. And that's because we go to the repository and make a database call and check if the band exists. If it doesn't exist, we return not found, that's correct. But if it does exist, then we go to the repository again and make another database call to get that band. So in this case, since we are using the band after we check if it exists, it's better to make only one database call and simply check if the band is null after we try to get it from the database. So it's really up to you how you want to do that, but I'm going to remove this. And what I'm going to do here is to make the call and get the band. And if the band doesn't exist, then null will be returned. And here I can simply check if that's the case. So I can do a check if the band from repo equals null. And then if it is, we will return not found. So this way we eliminate one database call when we don't have to check if the band exists before we try to actually get the band. Another thing I want to change here is the return type. We are returning JSON, but we actually shouldn't. This is an API and what we should return is a status code. What format our resources are being returned is up to the user and our application. We set it up elsewhere and we don't want to set it up in the return statement for our actions. Because we may be using this API to also support XML and in fact later I will show you how to do that. So we don't want to really hard code a JSON result to be as the return type for our actions here. Instead what I'm going to return is a status code OK. And that's the 200 status code for a valid resource that is returned. And I'm going to do the same over here for the get bands. Now here, I don't want to actually check if the bands exist because we are getting a list of all bands. If the result is null, that simply means that we don't have any bands in our database. But it's not really invalid request, it simply returns nothing because we have nothing. Over here, when we are trying to get a specific band based on the ID, that's an invalid ID and therefore we want to return not found. But for the list of all bands, we'll simply return null if there are no bands. And as a return type, again, I will return OK. Alright, so let's run this. And let's go to a postman. And I'm going to get the request for non-existing band. So let's send this. And this time we get 404 not found because the band ID is wrong. And you can see in our return we have the title as not found and the status 404. So now let's change it to a valid ID. And we get back the valid band based on the ID. And let's just get all the bands. And you can see that we get 200 OK status code and we still get all the bands as expected. So next let's have a look at the output formatters for our resources.